Alcohol is known to cause a host of mental disorders. Contrary to what the general public believes that alcohol induces sleep or alcohol relieves anxiety, the fact is that alcohol is known to cause disturbances in sleep, alcohol is known to cause mood disorders, alcohol is known to cause memory disturbances and even some disorders which we refer to as psychotic disorders. So alcohol is a, a toxic substance, it, it's a psychoactive substance and it leads to a number of mental health disorders. So when you take alcohol, initially you will feel drowsy but the actual effects of alcohol will lead to a fragmentation of sleep. So there are sleep disturbances. Then many people drink alcohol in order to relieve stress, in order to relieve anxiety or in order to enhance their moods. But in reality, the actual effects of alcohol are exactly the opposite. So alcohol leads to anxiety disorders, it leads to unstable moods, alcohol is known to induce depression, alcohol makes people very very irritable. So unstable moods, anger episodes, all of this is seen with alcohol. Over a period of time, if alcohol consumption continues, then people begin to develop memory disorders. So alcohol related memory disturbances are quite common. And alcohol also leads to psychosis or paranoia as we call it, where individuals become very suspicious, they start having hallucinations uh, and they start developing what we call delusions. So what happens short term is, particularly when pe people have what we refer to as intoxication, they drink too much of alcohol and uh, in, in too quick period of time. So what happens is that it will lead to irritability, it will lead to an unstable mood at that particular time, it will lead to poor judgment, right? They are more prone to accidents, they are more prone to falls, uh, lack of judgment is seen, right? And they have typically what we refer to as blackouts, which means that they will have no memory of the episode which occurred the previous day or the conversations that they had. So short term effects uh, would be intoxication, would be blackouts with the individual is uh, experiencing. Uh, this is the most common effects, uh, short term effects. The fact that irritability is uh, very commonly seen, it leads to unstable moods, it will also lead to disturbances in sleep. If alcohol persists, or if the individual drinks alcohol on a regular basis, then we will start seeing uh, mental health disorders, which means uh, depression may develop over a period of time, anxiety may develop over a period of time. And now anxiety disorders itself is a group of disorders. So that may develop over a period of time. There will be problems related to attention, concentration, memory, inability to focus, the productivity of the individual comes down over a period of time. Some individuals develop paranoia or psychosis as we call it. Now these are the main psychological effects. And then of course, simultaneously the individual will develop med medical effects or medical problems as we call it. And uh, there are social effects, there are effects on relationships, interpersonal, there are financial and there are legal implications as well. So all of it happens with alcohol over a period of time. Usually, people who consume alcohol start as social drinkers where they will be drinking on some occasions, at some parties, once in a while. Over a period of time, for many of these people, the consumption increases both in terms of the frequency of consumption as well as in terms of uh, the, the amount which these people consume. So, we would refer to addiction as a state in which a person is having regular consumption, very high consumption. The person is unable to quit. The person develops what we call tolerance. He requires increasing amounts in order to get the same effects out of alcohol. Right? He drinks for a much longer time than what he intended. And if he does not take alcohol, he develops what is called alcohol withdrawal symptoms, which is a mix of psychological as well as physical symptoms and ultimately addiction also leads to disturbances in or problems in health both physical as well as psychological. Difficult childhood or childhood experiences, difficult childhood experiences make people more prone to consuming alcohol. Uh, this may include uh, uh, you know various forms of uh, abuse or neglect, 
or other difficult childhood experiences. Also, risk factors for alcohol consumption are mental health disorders themselves. So there's a bi-directional relationship. Alcohol is known to cause mental health disorders and a lot of people who have mental health disorders, for example, people in states of stress, people who have sleep disturbances, people who have anxiety disorders, people who have depression, they take alcohol in the hope that it will relieve their symptoms. So there is a genetic basis, there are childhood experiences and there are mental health disorders which make a person prone to consuming alcohol. The time to visit a doctor is when you realize that your consumption of alcohol is becoming regular. Your, your consumption is not in your control anymore. You are drinking far more than what you intended to drink. You are becoming irritable if alcohol is not available. You are constantly thinking about alcohol. You start drinking alcohol all by yourself when you are alone. Right? You start lying as far as alcohol use is concerned. Your work starts getting affected because of alcohol. Uh, and of course, when you do not take alcohol, you start developing the withdrawal symptoms such as inability to sleep, restlessness, irritability, uh, the hands start trembling, the blood pressure begins to fluctuate and your uh, consumption is increasing over a period of time. Initially, you would take only, let's say, a peg or two. Now you have increased your consumption to about 180 ml or more. So there is a progressive increase in consumption as well as a frequency. All of these are indicators of the fact that alcohol or we are becoming dependent on alcohol and this is the time to seek help.